Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Steam Free Play. We're back today playing another episode of Card Hunters. And today we are going to be starting off our campaign um, at Level 1 Tavern here. And it says here, our tale begins in Card Huntria, in the Orc's Head Tavern. That sounds interesting to me. Orc's Head Tavern. Is that me there? Okay. An old man staggers to the door, blood streaming from his side. Well, get out of here, dude. You're getting blood all over uh -oh. the bar. Help, monsters are attacking the village. Who will save huh. us? Click a tab to choose a dwarven, human, or elven warrior, and then recruit one. So I now have to pick my race. I don't really know what I want to be here. I have my headphones on backwards. Let's switch that around real quick. Whoop! All right, a dwarf. What is the difference here? Dwarves are stout, fierce, compatible. Oh, they have different cards. So in the uh, tutorial, we did play as a dwarf. Um, it looks like they only have one card that's different. Dash for the elves, walk for the dwarf, and run for the human. So dwarves are slower, but maybe they have more health or something. Oh, ah, yeah, they have more health here. So I kind of want to be a... <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a human. I'm. Gonna, I was gonna be a dwarf just to be kind of like take as much damage as possible. But we're gonna do the medium in between of slow and health. We're gonna do the the human and uh, recruit this guy for free. Ooh, we get to name him. Oh, uh, this will be my first one, so we will name him Chronic. Um, done. All right, Chronic's hell. Uh, okay, Chronic here. The call to adventure. Strides over from the bar and pledges to help the old Yay. man. Yay! Alright. It's time for your first adventure. Clicks exit to return to the map. That was it? Okay, so at the tavern, all we did was recruit our human. But now there's something that we can do. Raid Yay. on... Omelet? Omelet. Kobolds are raiding the peaceful village of Omelet. I don't know how to pronounce that. It looks like omelet to me, but that may be just because I'm hungry. Anyway, slaughtering villagers, plundering the meager possessions, an exciting battle. All right, let's begin this adventure. I don't need to know to secrets of Amulot. The Amulot's peaceful existence is torn. All right, I just want to battle. Let's go. I don't, I can't, I don't got time to read all these things. There's, all right, battle begins. Ah. It is just me, and it looks like there's some kobold raiders um, in the group that share a single deck, so they're together. That's interesting. They will run out of cards pretty quickly if there's only three between the two of them. I can run forward, but I kind of maybe, I don't know. Do I want to save? I, I, run's really the only good use for me right now. I, I think to get closer to these guys, so we're going to go ahead and run and get as close as we can. When a group plays a move card, they can all move at once. Well, I'm the only one in this group, so... All right, now, can I bludgeon one of these guys? I can. I can hit this guy with any of these. I'm gonna go ahead and do bludgeon. We're gonna hit for the most damage as possible first. Bludgeon that guy! Weak strike! Oh! All right, so he, he did a weak strike to me. Eh, not so bad. I can kill one of them. Let's take him out. Smashed him. Now this guy's getting closer. But I don't have enough cards here to kill this last guy. I'm gonna have to pass the turn eventually, but I've got still some striking cards. He's probably also passing. He's out of cards. Huh. This is the only card I got? Because you choose human, you get the basic run card as your default move. Then you draw two more cards from your deck. Oh, okay. So I always get the run as my first option. How much health does he have? I can't see three. I should just bludgeon him, really. Just end it right here. There you go. You've been bludgeoned. Look at this nice unicorn that we've been presented with. It's beautiful. I love it. All right, aftermath. The village is saved. The remaining kobolds scamper off into the fields. The great real villagers reward you handsomely. Ah, collect my loot. Oh, Yay. I like that. Okay, uh, the experience bar. Woohoo! Woo, so much stuff! Wow, the amber shards, they should be worth several gold pieces. Take an all finish. Yeah, give me that stuff. 
Amber shards, usable treasure item. And now what's this? Pickled herring? Usable treasure item? Am I gonna eat that? Gross. Anyway, the armory. Let's go there. New items are available Yay. for me. An axe. All right, so right now I have like a, a blunt sword as my weapon. That costs five gold. I don't have any gold, but I can probably sell this thing. 40 gold! How do I sell it? There you go. Oh, thank you, sir. The cards in your deck come from the items you have equipped. Huh. Because you don't have a weapon in the slot, your deck only has weak cards. All right, well, let's get this cool weapon, right? It's going to give me chop, weak chop, and weak strike. Give me that. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I like how Gary makes those sounds. Yeah, Gary! <laughs> Wowzer, equipping this axe replaces those weak cards with these powerful new cards. Mouse over the items to see what cards give you. And you can right-click or press the spacebar to see Clyde's cards. Anyway, I've got these new cards. Can I sell this pickled herring for two gold? I don't know what it is for. I can also sell this. Can I sell this? Uh -oh. I can't sell that. Okay. Is that all that has the shop here? Only one weapon. Can I equip, I equip two weapons? Aha! Now is that better? Because now I have a lot of a lot of attack cards in my deck, and and is there very many run cards? I don't know. But I'm gonna exit here. I, I feel good about. It. Okay, it's time to get back on the trail of what? those kobolds. Connor searches the field for tracks and finds a trail leading to the wilderness. And Ooh. now. And now. Let's get started on the next module. The kobolds are encampment. All right, I'm jumping in here. I am a regular adventurer, and I complete this for bonus loot. Let's go. Battle. I don't know why I have to press it twice. I have to, like, ready up and then go. Maybe uh -oh. jeepers. This time you're outnumbered three to one. Not to worry. I have a few hints that will help you out. Well, thank huh. you, Gary. I don't know why you're giving me hints. If you're kind of like the enemy right now. I guess you're the dungeon master, so you're not truly my enemy. Okay, what does he say? Enemies have halt when they move next to you. So move to the yellow square to stop them from surrounding you. It's an interesting strategy, Gary. I guess I'm going to listen to you just because, I don't know, you're Gary. You're the dungeon master. You're going to control oh. these little guys. So now they can't surround me. Uh, these shield-carrying kobolds have block cards. Use the weakest attacks to draw them out first. Oh. So I should just know that. Because they have shields. Alright, weak strike on this oh. guy. Hiya! See? Oh, you were right, Gary. He's got a shield. Oh, you're so smart, Gary. Block any with damage four or less. So that would have blocked any of my cards. It came back at me, or he weak striked me as well? I think he did it to me back. So he now does not have his card. So let's go ahead and bludgeon him for four. Because that is my highest attack at the moment. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat this guy. Gary, I need some more help. What am I supposed to do right now? All right, we took one lizard man out. Gary is passing the turn. Good, because I also am out of cards. I have a run as well. You see new cards, remember to click them right away and see which special abilities that they have. Choose, ooh, this one attacks two targets, so that's good. But I do also know that they have shields, so do I want to wait on this and attack after I've, after I've run out their shields? I think so. He didn't have a shield, so it was all a trick. Let's go ahead and just chop him up. Yeah, they didn't have shields, but Gary passes the turn. It looks like I'll be okay. I have eight left, but there's only one kobold left. He's only got one health. I'm sure we can take him out. All right, so now I don't need to move. Let's just simple strike him. Adventure completed. Onward, aftermath. Having dispatched the raiding party, you outrun their camp and liberate what items they had. Searching the area... Reveals a cave, mouth, and crude earthen tunnel leading into the darkness under the hills. This is where the cobbles have come from. Only a further adventure will tell. And it looks like Chronic here has leveled up. Woohoo! Huzzah! Chronic leveled up and has more health. Chronic also unlocked a shield slot. Shields give you a block 
and other defensive cards. So that's cool. Maybe I'll find a shield in this chest. Uh, oh, a kobold killer. Rare? Is this? Oh, a rare weapon. That's very interesting. Let's take all this stuff. First of all, let's get this rare weapon in here, and then we'll put this one in there. And that gives me some really powerful attacks. Ten damage? Discard your oldest card when you play this? My oldest card, like the last... That's an interesting mechanic. Anyway, Rhinescrone Trinket. Can I use this? Shield. I don't have any... Ooh. I don't have any shield cards. I also don't have any boots cards. So, I have lots of weapons now, though. All, all weapon... You should know you should... Ugh. You know, you should really head to the armory to get yourself a shield. I hear there are new heroes awaiting at the tavern, too. All right, so things are going to get interesting. Let's go here and grab myself a, a nice rusty shield. Always love those. I've got lots of pickled herrings. Can I sell this yet? No, I cannot. Pizza slices? What? How do I acquire pizza slices? Exiting ah. the the store, that's all I needed was that that yeah. armory is really limited right now. It only has the things that I conveniently need. Ah, recruiting a crafty wizard for your party. So do I want a human wizard, an elf wizard, or a dwarf wizard? When we're thinking about wizards, I really would like somebody who moves very quickly as a wizard. So I'm thinking elf. But I could also do... No, Dwarf will be the slowest moving, so I don't want to play a Dwarf Wizard. What is going to be the difference? He has the, he has the most health. I don't need my wizard, wizard to take much attacks. I could be just like a full human party just to get like a nice equal... I don't know what to do. I'm going to... I'm going to... She's going to... El, elf? Elf? Wizard. Now she can move four. And that will make her a little bit better. I think. What, what should we name her? Oh no. I've run out of names already. I could call her Mischief. But um, that's just... Let's do some random names and see if we get anything nice here. No, 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 no. I need something that I can pronounce here. Weetor. Throgmagrel. These are crazy. This is ridiculous. I don't want these names. She needs a, written, a, a regular name. Like, um... I have... I'm... I'm bad with these names. Let's go back with some more random names. Um, what's a good what's a good mage name? I'm spending way too much time on this name. It does it has no All right, I'm giving her a random name. Randoming it up. Few? That's is that a name? F E U? All right, her name is Amy, all right? There's a name right there, Amy. Yeah. That name is not acceptable. The Lords declared they did not like your choice of names. Instead, the new hero is named Adventuro. All right, whatever. I, I'm a bad namer, apparently, but Adventuro has joined my party, and I, I like Adventuro. I, at least I can pronounce it. Wizards are long-range attackers and can de develop powerful magic but they are fragile fighters. Adventurer. Let's pursue the kobolds, return to the map, and follow the tunnels into darkness. If you dare. All right, well, we dare. I have a new, I have a new yeah. teammate. So now I have a level one Uchronic and a level one Adventuro. Next time we get a party member, we need like a, Ambush. I need a name in my head. Somebody suggest some good names for me and I'll, and I'll use one. You're light, you light your torch and head into the kobolds tunnel. The passageway leads down the runs and then run straight for many miles before reaching a three-way intersection. While you ponder which way to go, a crude horde sounds and a mighty kobold hero emerges in front of you. Well, this does not sound good. We have got some sort of uh -oh. mighty kobold warrior. This guy doesn't look that mighty to me. He looks just like all the other kobolds. I thought he would be a little bigger. Line of sight means that you have to have Unblockable line of center your square target. Your wizard has sight from here as the line does not cross any blocking squares. Oh. But not from here to here as one blocking square is crossed by the line. Alright, I understand line of sight here. What should I do? My wizard's a little bit good out of range here. I should probably... Can I... 
I should probably move a little bit forward here or try to get in his way or something. Can I? Because if I just move one step forward, I don't know if he's going to just go straight for the mage and then I've kind of got myself in some trouble. Um, I think very first of all, I should use my mage to move. You know what? I'm not going to move first. I will zap him with a spark. That is what I do. Adventuro shoots Spark at Chum. Aha, and he blocked it. I don't know how much damage Spark did. Oh, I still got to Spark him. He only blocked a little way. The Kobold Hero has a lot of block. It can't block you if you attack from behind, though. Aha, so now she's going to get some good free shots at him. The squares that are in front are from the Flashing Kobold. The squares are behind. Yeah. Okay, if you get one hero on either side of the Kobold, you can keep attacking from behind. I kind of want him to keep attacking my warrior because he's got way more health. He's He can take it. He's got also a block card here, which I think helps him out. So if she can move a little bit closer so she can zap him, it would probably be best. Now, how close do I want? Right here is good. Here we go. Our block is activating. We are blocking his flimsy, his, his flimsy attack. Oh, our block has failed. I'm not sure how this blocking works exactly, but I can zap this guy for four now from behind, which is what I think I will do. Now he has turned around, but he didn't go anywhere. Who did he attack? He must have attacked the warrior again. She still got this, which does three damage, but I think I could probably kill him with this unless he's got a block attack. I don't want to waste my 10 damage on him. Well, he's got a block, so let's try to chop him first. He's out of blocks completely, so we can totally just overwhelm him right now and do 10 damage. What a, what a weak boss! Was he supposed to be hard? I'm not sure. The tunnel finally emerged high above the floor of White Skull's Canyon. So this is where Cobalt Lair is. You will return with the allies to finally stamp out these monsters and liberate the treasure they have stolen from the surrounding village. Very cool. Am I going to get some stuff for my wizard? I hope so. Ooh, some boots! And a wand. Ooh, and a stone, a golem cleaver. Alright, let's take this stuff. Let's give here this wand to Adventro. That gives her some really cool attacks. A big zap, telekinesis, and some more little zap. These boots, though, are common boots. I'm going to be giving them to Chronic. She doesn't have really much boots. Oh, he does have this. Can I give those to her? She's got those as well, adventurer boots. So this gives me a little bit better options, doesn't it? Gives me a second walk is what it does, and it lets me get rid of the simple strike. I'll take that. This weapon will trade out for this one. And that will be about it, right? Um, looks good. Finished. Huh. There are new... Oh, don't forget to check out the armory. It is full of new stuff before you wrap... Yeah, okay. Let's go over to the armory real quick. Ah. Oh, my gosh. There were so many things here. They heard me making fun of them last time. So many things. All right, so let's um go ahead and sell... Uh -oh. You can't sell usable items now. Only treasure. Late in the campaign, you'll be able to. Okay, so I have to keep all of these things. Oh, this is a treasure item. I can sell that. Like how it's just like in here now. Get out of the way! Um, I don't have enough for much of this stuff. This is crazy. There's so many things. I don't even know where to start right now. I can't wear this, can I? He can't wear these things yet. Um, swords though. Maybe if I find anything I need. A staff? Is there any good staffs? Level 3. Can she even use that? Mm, that's only 10 gold, and this gives me some more stuff. Should I grab that? Common staff? Is there any other staffs? Ooh. Hot spot map. Ooh, there's so many different... Force bolt, simple bash. I'm overwhelmed right now. How could... Uh, last time... Last two times I visited the sword, there was, like, absolutely nothing here. And now there's a ton of things here. I don't know what to do. This is crazy! Alright, I'm, I'm gonna be... <laughs> I'm gonna spend some time here at the store picking things out. Maybe. I don't know. Some of this stuff is so cheap. I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna buy some of this, but 
You guys don't have to sit here and make watch me make up my mind on what I purchased. I will be showing you when we get back for another episode. I'm really enjoying the game, so we're going to be continuing to play it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, check out some of the other Steam Free Play videos on my channel. There's a whole bunch of them. And as always, guys, I'm Quantic Mischief. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like or a comment below, and subscribe for more Chronic Mischief!